si Yolanda ay pumasok na sa ating area of responsibility. Just how deadly Typhoon Haiyan has been in the Philippines. Hanggang uh, halos ulo na yung, uh, yung taas, taas. Uh, ng, uh, ng tubig. The typhoon slammed into six central Philippine islands Friday, wiping away homes and buildings, cutting off power and creating misery for a growing number of people. Forecasters say this makes it the strongest recorded typhoon ever to make landfall. Obviously, talaga hinahampas sila ng dagat. Pero no power, light, water, communication, nothing. Babagtasin ito ang mga probinsya ng Masbate, Cebu, Panay, Oblon, Mindoro, at Palawan. Red Cross says a thousand are feared dead in one city alone. The victims themselves, even the police and army, many of them are dead. Unfortunately, they are pulling bodies out of the rubble behind me. Survivors are piling, are looking up into the heavens. The dead are piling up. Naway magiligtas po ang lahat sa mga susunod na araw. Maraming salamat po at magandang gabi po sa lahat. On November 8, 2013, the world's strongest typhoon ever recorded, Haiyan, or Yolanda, lashed central Philippines. Provinces, cities, and communities along its path suffered enormously. About 6,000 people were killed. More than 4 million people were left homeless. Around 600 billion pesos were lost instantly. But the hardest hit was the city of Tacloban in Leyte. The city was not prepared for the 16-foot storm surge that engulfed its entire coastline and wiped out crops, trees, and man-made structures. The political and economic center of Eastern Visayas was cut off from the rest of the country, and its over 200,000 population were devastated. The whole world watched as our nation faced its toughest trial yet. It was uh, November 6. We had a notice from the city government and uh, we, Barangay Chairman of 138 Barangays, was invited to attend a meeting uh, instructing us to evacuate our people as early as possible to avoid the uh, super typhoon Yolanda. Uh, others believe me that others just ignore it because they did not expect that it will be the worst. Ever since I've been in Tacloban, and that's like 39 years, we've never had flood in this area, ever. And that was the first one and the worst. Pag open ko ng, ng jalousy ko, nakita ko yung tubig, hindi na nga isang dangkal papasok na sa loob. So mata, Ang bilis. mabilis. Yun, bigla nang lumakas oh, yeah. yung hangin, tapos yung tubig, pumasok na dito sa amin, dito lang muna sa sahig, tapos bigla-bigla na tumaas-taas na lang po. Pero that time, yung focus ko, paano ko sisibig ang anak ko? Uh -huh. Ibali na akong, akong hindi ma, ano, makasurvive nun. Kasi at least okay naman ako eh. Yung anak ko lang, anak ko, wala pang ano yun, wala pang tamo ko. Pag igulat na pagsampahan da ko nga alam, nasugod kami. Ah, oo, kasi ito yung uh, ako ko, nakitiwa ng asawa ko, hindi nang napansin yun sa amin. Yung tubig, pataas siya ng pataas. Pa yung iniisip ko, pagka tumaas pa to, wala na kami nga hawakan, mm -hmm. hindi ko alam kung anong mangyayari sa amin. Sabi naman ako, Nay, di kita bibitiwan. Kay, kung, kung kahit saan ka pupuntun ako sa iyo, sabi ko. Sabi ko sa anak ko yung bunso ng isa minira. Huwag na anak, pabayanin niyo ako. Sabi ng anak ko, huwag na, hindi, hindi ko, hindi ko kariya gumawara ka. Kasi yung mata ka na agad na bibigyan. Yung panganay ko, sumabit yung damit niya dito sa likod, kaya hindi na siya nakaaroon. Kasama niya ng ano, kasama niya yung, yung kapatid niya, magkahawak sila ng kamay. Yung po yung iniya ko kasi... Hanggang sa dohuli ng kanilang ano, ng kanilang hininga, hindi niya, hindi niya binitiwan yung kapatid niya. Kaya nung mahanap namin, magkahawak sila ng kamay. Search, rescue, and relief missions in the first weeks could not cope with the destruction. But humanitarian help 
prayers, and messages of hope poured in from all parts of the globe. The resilience of Filipinos shone through once more. Those who survived summoned the remaining strength to search for family members, walked for hours to find food and water, and picked up whatever was left of their shattered homes. Nawala, laging isa sila lahat. Ginanap namin, mga limang araw kami naghanap sa kanila yung, yung mga missing, pero... Yung asawa ko, parang naano na siya sa isip ko, sabi niyo, patay na daw ako. Sa yung ako niyo, dalawa, patay. Parang nawala po ako ng pag-asa. Parang pinagsakan po ako ng, ano, ng bato, pag-anyan. Siguro, baka ginusto yun ng Diyos na mawala sila o ano yung plano ng, ng Diyos sa amin kung bakit sila nawala kasi ito yung nasurubay sa amin. As they stand again on their own feet, they hold on to one another, leaving no one behind. Tacloban remains their home, their place of birth and living, their source of joy and inspiration. On this rubble, they will rebuild their lives. The challenge is for their leaders and the country's best minds to build back a better Tacloban. A city that can withstand stronger and more destructive typhoons in the coming years. Policies play an important role in mitigating the hazards of natural calamities. The implementation of these laws provides an effective first line of defense against disasters. Our laws mandate that disaster risk reduction become a vital part of the rehabilitation process. The decisions that will be made on the architecture and engineering of future homes, schools, and shelters are crucial for survival. What materials should be used? Where should permanent homes be located? The answers to these questions remain to be seen once the rehabilitation plans are implemented. Yung mga gamit namin na nawala, paano kami mabubuhay, paano kami kakain? Ah, di di ka lagi hapon. Eh, wala man iba. Ang muna takbalay din eh. May dagad na si Ringira nga. Taga din yung dagad ko no. May bubutangan na. Babalinan ba? Ang butik maram. Mas mapapay nga ni kung ato na kami tsag ka, di rin kung makaradlo. Personally, we are now trying to rebuild our house. We are trying to start because uh, although we are, we have some, I know, some hearsay because there was, there was no clear, I know, information from the government. So, if we will not try to build our house, then where will we go? In consultation with the local community who are mostly fisher folks and farmers. The structures that will rise must also preserve and sustain community relationships, local culture, and livelihood. These are equally important in building resilience, developing early warning systems, and enhancing cooperation during calamities. We found out that all houses there if concrete or not concrete, are washed out. So that's why that there are more lives was gone. The problem there is they didn't explain. They didn't explain us the storm surge. Uh, what can storm surge be? Since we are all aware already, then we are very much learned about the information given by the, the media, the press. Then. We have to follow. That would be the lesson. With diligent consideration of the risks and the needs of the people, both public and private sectors can carry out a proactive approach 
to lessen the socio-economic impact of disasters. In the next few months, we will witness the rebuilding of Tacloban. We hope to build it anew as a community that is more aware and adaptive to the risks of its environment, more responsive to emergencies and early warnings, and safer for families and loved ones. There is no doubt that our unique identity as a people will be the soul of this new Filipino architecture, one that is risk sensitive and climate adaptive. A master plan has been crafted and it will usher Tacloban City and its people towards an early and resilient recovery and rehabilitation and sustainable development. Thank you.